Um, the Innovative Instruction Technology Grants um, is a competitive program um, offered to SUNY faculty and support staff um, of all disciplines. Um, IATG encourages them to develop innovation that meets the power of SUNY's transformative um, vision. These grant recipients are encouraged to openly share their projects and outcomes um, within the SUNY Learning Commons, but also um, abroad, um, and enable these um, their colleagues to go ahead and either replicate or be involved in them. So whether you are a part of SUNY or not, you still have the opportunity to benefit from these programs um, that we are about to hear. So we are going to um, start with Ellen Seide from Alfred State. Okay. Thank you, Megan. Um, I would like to start by thanking Empire State for having all of us. This has been a really awesome day. All the stuff that I've seen today has just reinforced why our campus needs what we're about to do with the grant that we've received. So it, it's making me feel really good about what we're trying to do. I'd also like to congratulate all of you for lasting this long. Um, <laughs> all of the presentations have been great. That might come to a screeching halt with me because mine is, we're still kind of in development. So I can give you some information. Melanie, my colleague, can back up anything that either I get wrong or don't touch upon. And then we can move on to the two other great presentations that are coming after us. So I'm sure you probably have this on your campuses, at least I hope so. Um, faculty who say, I understand what accessibility is, I understand why it's needed, but I don't know how to do anything in relation to converting my material, um, how do I caption a video? I have no idea. Do we have those resources? So I got that question actually in a professional development session that I was um, kind of giving during uh, before the spring semester this year and it made me start to think. Like sure, it's one thing to understand what it is, to read the definition, but these some of these faculty literally don't know where to start. And so that kind of pushed us toward having an accessibility conference. Um, January in Alfred is lovely. <laughs> if you have never been there in January, I highly recommend you come visit. So we chose the date of January 13th, and there's actually a good reason for that. That's because that January thaw, doesn't that usually come around that time? No, the reason we chose that date is we have two weeks of professional development before our spring semester this year. Um, normally it's one and we cram in like all of these sessions and they travel around campus going to them. But this year we have two. And we are going to take one full day and have this conference and there will be no other scheduled professional development activities that day. So we have a captive audience. They have to be on campus. Mm -hmm. Obligation has already started. So we thought that they could benefit from this you know, great opportunity to learn everything there is to learn about accessibility. Um, we have tried, you know, we have trainings on our campus. Um, my department is, is, you know, schedules trainings. We have Blackboard Wednesdays on our Alfred campus and we have Blackboard Thursdays on our Wellsville campus. Um, but as you know, scheduling rooms um, and blocks of time doesn't really hit the widest cross section of faculty. So we get a lot of like, I would have liked to have come to that, but I was teaching during that time. So this is why we chose to do this instead of a series of trainings, to do it as a conference a full day. This way they can really benefit from it. Um, we are going to have, you know, faculty and staff can attend. We're opening it up to our campus, other campuses, non-SUNY campuses um, are more than welcome to come. So it's open to anybody, regardless of institution or campus role. I mean, there are staff, myself, I'm staff, I'm not faculty, I want to know all about accessibility. Um, faculty can benefit from it. If there's students, I'm even welcoming students. I think I said that in one of our meetings, and you were like, but I think they might like to see, you know, what people go through and learn about accessibility also. So I'm opening it wide up. Our proposed schedule at this time is two mini keynotes in the morning, um, touching upon two different aspects of accessibility. Um, as I said last night in <laughs> at dinner, I wanted one to focus on legalities so we could scare the pants off the faculty so that they could be like, wait, you can be sued? Absolutely. Our institution can be sued? Sure can. Um, so that's one of the topics I would like to be touched upon. We are kind of throwing around 
We haven't really solidified a vendor showcase. As I said, um, January and Alfred's not a huge draw. And some people might not be able to make that trip, but we would like to get some vendors to come and speak with um, the participants. And in the afternoon, we would like a bunch of breakout sessions that are interactive so that faculty, staff, whoever is attending can come and see um, how things are done and perhaps even practice them as the person is speaking. So we're looking forward to interactive breakout sessions that they can cycle through during the afternoon, or maybe they could go to one or two and then go to talk to the vendors if they come. Um, but that is our proposed plan at this point in time. We also um, would like to record these sessions because as Megan stated, we should be sharing our initiative. We should be sharing what we are trying to do with this grant that we were awarded. So we want to compile all of these resources from that day and put it on our website, on our public part of our website. So anyone who would like to watch the sessions, see the keynotes in case they couldn't come, um, can watch what we did and they can take this information, maybe take it to their campus or just work on things individually. So we are putting it out there as a resource once it's done. Um, the committee that is heading up this whole thing is myself, Melanie, who is the Student Disabilities, um, Disability Services Coordinator, and the Director of Technology, my case, who's not here. So we're kind of, we have like a three-pronged attack on this whole thing. Um, and we're also working in conjunction with our instructional technologies people who will be recording the sessions, finding the best rooms. We do have some Echo 360 classrooms, so that could be, you know, classroom capture that would take care of that. And obviously they'd be captioned um, when they're done. So we are working with them and then put it all together into a comprehensive guide on our website. And I do have the registration and the um, call for proposals for breakout sessions. So it's up right now, you can write them down or you could just come see me afterwards and I can hand you a card and I can send that information to you. But that is what we're planning on doing. Now, as I said, these two next presentations are gonna blow mine out of the water. So just enjoy, enjoy, my, enjoy, <laughs> enjoy my little presentation I just had and we can move on to Lisa. Thank you very much.